Did you know that in February 2021, about 85,000 new apps were developed and launched? Many of these were native, but many were also developed and launched via cross-platform technology. You are on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. As you've no doubt guessed, today we're comparing native and cross-platform development. Keep watching to make an informed decision on what type of development is right for your apps. And don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. Let's start by discussing native app development. A native app is developed specifically for a definite platform or device type, usually Android or iOS. Native app development usually occurs when the individual ordering it has a good budget and is flexible enough on time to market or launch time frame. The advantages of native development are obvious to those who use it, namely great performance, security, fewer bugs, and good offline performance. While everything seems to be perfect in the choice for native app development, it's not without its disadvantages, such as cost. Native apps involve complexity and customization, and with this complexity comes a higher cost. Time. Native app development is a lengthy process. Cost of maintenance. Maintenance costs can run 15 to 20% of the original development cost, and frequent upgrades required. Developers will use different tools in the building process. Namely, for iOS, they use app code, Xcode, Atom, and for Android, they use Android Studio. Programming languages common to native app development are as follows. For iOS, there are two primary options, as Objective-C and Swift. And again, two primary options are available for Android, as Java and Kotlin. By the way, we've prepared an article with a detailed Objective-C and Swift comparison. So check it out for more information. The link is in the description. Now let's dive deeper into cross-platform development. Cross-platform apps are those that are developed to operate on multiple platforms. Among the pros of cross-platform apps, we define cost, huge time savings, simpler support and maintenance, faster launch to market, and larger exposure. While cross-platform is attractive to those with limited budgets and a desire to launch quickly, there are obvious drawbacks, namely, functionality is limited, poor adaptability with third-party libraries, issues with integration, and slower speed is entirely possible. JavaScript, c -sharp, and Dart are common programming languages for cross-platform app development. As for tools and technologies, some newer ones are serving to improve some of the negative aspects of cross-platform, such as React Native. It makes development faster. Zamarin, its great advantage is that it's open source, using C-sharp coding to work on any platform. And Flutter, it has brought much greater functionality to cross-platform apps. Do you think Flutter is able to win the competition between all of them as being the newest and the most progressive tool? Share your thoughts in the comments. So how to make the right choice for your needs? To help you get a clearer idea of which app development you want, we've made a brief listing of the elements that should determine your choice. You should choose native app development when you need exceptional functionality and streamlined responsiveness, you have no budget issues, you want an app that can operate without connectivity, you want to focus on specific audiences and potential customer bases, such as Android and or iOS, or you want to install frequent updates, usually based upon what you determine users want. And you should choose cross-platform app development when you want to focus on a larger audience in multiple markets. You want an app that can be built quickly and cost-effectively. Your app doesn't need complicated animation, 3D graphics, or other functionalities or features. You need a prototype or MVP to test the market, or your app is focused more on imparting content, information, and or simpler user tasks. Examples might be a calendar or a personal budgeting app. So every individual or organization looking for the right app development has two choices, a native app for each platform or a cross-platform app that will serve multiple purposes. And have you already decided which of them is suitable for you? 
This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.